hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video i will show you how you can make a snake and ladder game like as you can see on your screen here so let me show you a demo real quick okay so um, let me just reload this page and if i just click on this roll button as you can see you can hear the sound of the rolling of dice and as you can see here the red player has moved uh like five steps okay as there is five here okay the random value of the dice is five so now let's roll the dice for yellow so as you can see here the yellow gets three so let me just do this again and again and let's find who wins okay so yes as you can see here and it is also using the ladders and snakes okay so i will explain each and every step which i have defined here so as you can see here the yellow only needs one value okay the value one to win so let's uh, see who will win so as you can see here yellow won okay an alert appear and after clicking okay the page will reload so yes guys this is a simple game you can play with your friends and now let's see how i made this game okay so before starting this video hit the like button and if you are new subscribe to techy web dev and press all notifications so you will never miss any future videos now let's continue with our topic so in in our vs code let me just show you the first which will which is the html part okay and one more thing uh, before uh, like explaining this uh, you can like uh, you can get this all code okay this all html css and javascript code in the description i have given the code in the description so if you want to copy the code you can copy from the description okay it is a link to my github profile okay so now uh, let's see how i have done this okay so in this html part uh, the first of all is just a simple heading h1 tag okay nothing else and uh, down here uh, we have a container in which uh, the id of that is dice count okay and in which there are three elements this the first p tag is for uh, telling which turn okay uh, like whose turn it is and thus this second one is to tell the value of the dice okay and the third one is uh, is a button okay so this is that whole container this first one is to tell the uh the like the turn of which player it is so for example it will now tell uh, it is yellow's turn okay and then it will also like show the value of the dice and this is the button to roll the dice okay and then here we have like our main container okay in which there are as you can see here there are a uh, 100 okay total of 100 divs or you can say box so as you can see here this is a lot amount of code and uh, after that i have an image okay so if i just um, just if i just comment this image and you will see so you as you can see here you can see the 100 divs i have defined here okay so to like cover these divs here i have uh, like given this image here and uh, cover the these boxes with the image okay so you cannot see these boxes but you can see the image okay so if i just save it again and yes as you can see here you can see the board okay so that's all for the html part let's see the css part so first of all just like in the body i have given display grid and like place item center to place all the items in the center okay and then in the container part as you can see cont i have also given the display grid and some like grid template columns to like define these boxes here okay so 10 by 10 rows okay and then here i have like define the like i have given the style for these two dice okay or you can call these anything okay whatever you can call these these two player the first one is red and the second one is yellow okay so i have given the style of these here okay and nothing else here and some styling to the image which i have shown you just oops okay and some like styling to to the image and some styling to the button also so that's all to uh, in this css part now let's jump into 
the js part which is the most important so first of all at the beginning you can see a variable uh, named tog um, let me just write let tog okay it like looks good and what is this tog it will just like toggle your turn between the player one and player two so as you can see here this yellow turn when i will just click roll you can see it changes to red so how it is happening it is happening due to this so i'm just increasing the value of this tog by one here uh, let me just show you um where it is so as you can see here i'm just changing the value of tog by one and i will i am just getting if the tog is odd okay the value is odd then red will move if the value is even then yellow will move okay so just like that uh, then we have some audio tracks okay to like some sounds here as you can see uh, the first one is rolling sound which you have already heard so as you can see here, this sound is the rolling sound and we have also write a winning sound okay when a player will win this sound will be played okay uh, you can like get this sound from like google uh, it is free okay and then uh, we have two more variables which is called p1 sum and p2 sum okay so i will explain the like the function of these variables later so then we have the main function here which is the function called play okay and it takes four arguments which is player uh, like it will take red or yellow okay and then p sum and then correction uh, i will sh uh, like explain what is this correction and then num okay um, so then inside this play function we have a variable called let sum okay so this uh, what is this sum here um, it is the sum which is like zero okay the sum is by default zero and uh, this p sum um, let me just show you down here um, so um, here okay yeah so you can see whenever i will just click that dice button which is this blue button here this function will run and what is this function first of all this the sound will play okay so this is the function to play that sound and then a random number will be generated okay so this is the random so this is the way like to generate a random number between one and six okay so the num will equal to the random number okay and then the inner text will be equal to this num so you can see whenever i just clicking it this inner text is like getting changed every time okay and after that i have like two if else statement uh, like on based of tog when tog is odd then it will be red stun okay because then it will be a uh, yellow stun afterwards so i have written here yellows but uh, if it is odd then it will be red stun and i have like passed the, run the function play here uh, and it like it passes four parameters or arguments you can call the first one is p1 the p1 refers to red okay so don't be confused uh, between this like p1 and this p2 so the p1 is red and the p2 is yellow okay and the p1 sum is the sum of the red so let me just reload this page here and if i just like you can see i have uh, written four here and now the sum will be of the red will be 14 because like the red is on the 14th block and uh, let's say and yes now yellow is also on the 14th block and now the the p1 sum will be 19 because this red player is on the 19 block okay oops all right so i hope you get what is this p1 sum and p2 sum then we have this correction element which i have like shown you earlier uh, what is this correction uh, let me just show you in the css part uh, you can see in the css uh, here it is so i have like given some corrections here uh, if i just like remove this left here okay just remove this left and let's reload the page so as you can see here 
द रेड इज लाइक ऑन द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक ओके बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस सो वी हैव गिवन दिस करेक्शन एलिमेंट ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड हेयर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ऑल्सो द करेक्शन एलिमेंट सो लेट सी आई हैव जस्ट कमेंट दिस आउट फॉर पी टू एंड इफ आई जस्ट रीलोड द पेज सो एज यू कैन सी एर दिस एलिमेंट इज डाउन हेयर एंड इफ आई जस्ट लाइक डू दिस सो यू कैन सी इट विल नॉट like it is not looking great okay so that's why i have given like this correction so let's say i have just given this zero here so what will happen let's re reload and yes so as you can see here it is like not working fine so as you can see okay so that's why uh, you have to give that correction value in order to work fine all right and let's uncomment this also okay so yeah so and the the last like the parameter the fourth parameter is the num which is this random value okay so now let's get back to our the main function here and let me explain you okay so first of all is for the red element so if the p sum is equal to p1 sum which means uh, it is red okay it is a red player then what we will do we will just increase the value of that p1 sum which is for the red a uh, player by p1 sum plus num okay so the previous value of the sum and the random number okay and then we have some if else statements so what the what are these if else statements so first of all if the value is greater than 100 so as you can see here the value cannot be greater than 100 so what i have done here if the value is greater than 100 i have just like a minus that uh, the random number by itself so it cannot be greater than 100 never okay so so yes and then i have given here if the like if it is 1 so you can see if it is 1 as you can see here if the value will be 1 then it will climb the ladder and it will go to 38 so that's exactly what i have done here if the value is 1 then i have given it equal to 38 and similarly all these values are just like that so i have also given for snakes also um for let's say if the player is on this 88 block then it will go down to 24 so i have defined it here as you can see if the value is 88 then it will be go down to 24 so yeah i hope you understand and i have like <coughs> uh define the same thing for p2 which is yellow okay so i hope you get this part and then we have like some transition okay if i just remove this transition you will not see a smooth transition so let me just show you if i just roll the dice so as you can see here the transition is like not as smooth okay so that's why you need this and then i have given some more if else statement okay uh, so if the sum is less than 10 then uh, like the position of these elements will be this okay so like this here i have defined oops so uh, this here i have defined the position of that particular player okay so if i just comment this out and if i just reload the page so yeah, as you can see here nothing is happening okay uh, unless it will just cross the like uh, more than 10 mark okay so nothing will happen unless it the value of the sum will be greater than 10 so yeah this is important okay and similarly and this function you can see uh it is for winning the round okay so if the sum is 100 okay uh, that means whenever a player reaches 100 it will win and this function like check which player will win okay so if the player is p1 then red will win and if the player is p2 then yellow will win and after that oops and after after that i will just reloaded the page okay and then in the else part Uh, in which the sum is between 
11 and 99 okay if the sum is between 11 and 99 this function will run and here are like some uh, more functions here which is I have defined an array from the string sum so for example let's say uh, the sum the value of the sum is 50 here okay so 50 uh, the value of n1 will be 5 and the value of n2 will be 0 okay because the number is 50 so n1 will be 5 and n2 will be 0 and then if like n1 is odd so 5 is odd so it will run this function and then if n2 is 0 so uh, n2 is 0 okay so it will run this function here just to like uh, specify that specific position okay we have to do this like four times here so yes as you can see here we have to do this four times if n1 is odd and then n2 is zero then this one else this one and if n1 is even and n2 is zero then this one and if n2 is not zero then this one okay so after like after like writing this whole functions you will uh, get the exact specific position on which you want your player okay so i hope like you understand the this code here and if you got a better way to write this code please comment on the video okay i will be grateful to hear you and uh, yes i hope you get this code and let me just show you this one more time here and yeah uh, one thing i have not done in this like project here uh, i have not make it responsive okay i have not make it responsive so if you want to make it responsive you can easily do so with the help of css and some more javascript code okay so i am not doing this in this video you can do it on your own okay so let me just uh, show you one more time and let's win again so as you can see here one more time yellow warn okay and the page will be reloaded so yeah i hope you get the code here and uh, if you want the code all the code is given in the description okay you can copy the code from there or you can like understand the code and that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one